Rosalinda Dionisio Sanchez is a Mexican activist whom I had the pleasure of meeting recently. She became part of the movement opposing the attempts by Minera Cuzcatlan, a Mexican mining company affiliated with Canadian company Fortuna Silver Mines, to open a mine in her town. She became active in her small town of Ocotlan after a fellow activist was killed and she was tw shot twice. She's an extraordinarily brave woman, but also an ordinary working woman who has been drawn into the global resistance against corporate exploitation in her home country of Mexico. There are too many cases like this, particularly in the global south. People who have suffered at the hands of multinational companies who put profit before people and the environment. And they need better protection. Rosalinda went on to study law to prepare herself to combat such injustices. She knows her local and national laws and uses them as well as she can to protect her people. But these laws are just not strong enough to resist the power of massive global companies who are larger than many countries. This is why we need an international legally binding instrument that would protect people like Rosalinda who are unjustly intimidated and often killed by multinationals for trying to protect their livelihoods, their land and their families. Just such a treaty is already being discussed at the UN. It grew out of an initiative from Ecuador and it's widely supported by a lot of countries. The first draft that we're working on now calls for binding obligations on human rights and environmental impact assessments before multinationals can begin operations in any country, something that Greens have been calling for in trade agreements for a long time. We also need a court where people from anywhere in the world can take cases against corporations who have abused their rights. This is why we're going to Geneva soon to attend the meetings of the UN Working Group to discuss the binding treaty. So far, the European Union is not actively pushing for this necessary control on corporate power. So please, publicise the negotiations and write to your national trade minister and your MEPs to tell them that you support the UN binding treaty process to protect the human rights of people like Rosalinda across the world.